you have seen my most recent video, then you would know that I scraped off some of the product of these highlighters and repressed them into these eyeshadows. And that means I want to declutter these highlighters. And so I figured I'd film a little declutter because I am decluttering a few things in my collection. Not a ton. You know I never do giant ones. I usually have them incrementally and I just find things um, that I don't want. I, it's not all at once and I don't split my collection in half, that's for sure. Also, pardon for any noise in the background. Um, but along with these, I do have a few things I wanted to share that I am passing on to my sister. Not because they're bad, I just have too many duplicates in my life and I don't use highlighters. I use these as eyeshadows and keeping them in these compacts for eyeshadows seems very silly. I figure I can give these to my sister and sister-in-law and see if they want to play around with these highlighters. I'm just not a highlighter person. I just wanted to show you things I'm getting rid of in kind of in a duping way because I'm getting rid of duplicates. That's it. Everything else basically I'm keeping. Um, but I thought I'd swatch everything and show you my thought process of letting go of things. And I apologize for anything in the background. I'm working with the setup I have. But these are the 12 eyeshadows I'm passing on. I just wanted to go through the reasoning of why I got rid of each. This first one right here is from BH Cosmetics. I had another shade from BH Cosmetics. And they were so similar that I genuinely could barely tell the difference. So I just chose one to get rid of because it seems silly to keep both. As for this shadow right here, the closest dupe I have would probably be this shade or this shade. It was more just, it's like a shimmery formula, but not super metallic. And if I want that color, I'd rather just have a matte. I just don't really care for the shade enough. Um, now I have glitter all over my arm. But you can see it's, it's pretty close. This is from a ColourPop, I think the Lilac palette. This blue right here, I have two Royal Blues already in this Nomad Cosmetics palette. They're Whistler Ski Lodge palette. Um, I think they're going to be most similar to the shimmery shade right here. Almost identical. This one's a bit sparklier, but it's so similar that... I, I can't imagine keeping both. Some other shades you can dupe from this palette is this black. This was in the another BH Cosmetics palette. It's a fine black. I slightly prefer this one right here, but also, again, single or in a palette. I'm going to keep the palette, especially because it was a gift, but they're, they're practically the same. This one has a tiny bit of sparkles in it, but it's it's just another matte black. I don't need a million of these. And then some other ones are, these squares are BH Cosmetics, this is a NYX, and then this is ColourPop, the rest would be e.l.f., just so you know. I don't remember the exact palettes they come in, but the shape of the pan will tell you. Um, this is a really pretty yellow gold, but again, I have very similar ones already. This one's slightly warmer. But I also have another yellow gold from an e.l.f. palette. And they're, they're all just so similar. This one's kind of in between these two, so I figure it's the one I should give away. This one is fairly similar to a shade in from a BH Cosmetics palette. Slightly different, but again, why bother keeping one when the, the one I kept has a little bit more dimension. This shade, this shade is fairly similar to this one, but it's slightly grayish and darker, so I just kept um, the lighter, more beigey one. And I think this was from the Earth and Ocean palette as well. This shade is more of a darker, grungy, olivey gray. Just, again, I'm not super into these colors, but if I need a grungy, olivey toned thing, I'll just do
if I need something grungy and olivey, I'll do this brown. If I'm gonna do a green, I want it to be more green. So I chose the browner ones versus the greener ones for these. As for this peachy pink shade, it is kind of the shade in between this one and this one, all from BH Cosmetics. And so I just got rid of the one in the middle. Same with the gold. I can mix these two together to make a very similar shade. They were all so close that I could not justify keeping them all. This top shade is the shade I'm getting rid of. It's from e.l.f. I think it's from the Rosewater Quad. Very pretty, but pretty similar to this shade from a Profusion Mauve's palette. And I slightly prefer this formula, so I kept that one. Again, not an exact dupe, but similar enough to why I would wear them in a similar way. Alright, I took a few minutes because I realized I had a change of heart. This one, it's less shimmery than this one, but it's lighter and I prefer the color. And for this type of color, I would rather it be a subtle, paler shade than, even though this one might be a little bit shimmerier. I also have this shade, which is, again, I these two shades, this is the middle shade. I almost went back and maybe kept this one, but I realized it's in between this shade and this shade. So again, I can mix them to make a very similar shade. I'm basically getting rid of all these middling shades that don't need to be there really. Last but not least is this little orangish peachy shade. I don't have a dupe for this. I just know that I will never be interested in a shade like this. It's just not my thing. If I want a peachy shade, I would want it to be paler. So um, that's where that is going. And I resprayed these with some alcohol just to sanitize them a bit. But yeah, those are the 12 shades I'm getting rid of along with the highlighters. And now, along with those, I'm getting rid of some brushes. The reason I'm getting rid of brushes is mostly because I recently got a bunch of new ones. My boyfriend's mom found this box in her linen closet of a bunch of BH Cosmetics brushes that she never used. Um, so... Now I have them, and they're really stunning. There was, I think, 13 of them in total. These are just a few right here. Really gorgeous packaging, and I already know that I like the quality because I had a few from that brand already for brushes. But that means a lot more brushes, and I don't want to have a ton, so I went through and found the duplicates. This is a Target Up and Up brand of brush. It is the oldest remaining brush in my collection, I believe. And it is actually really good. It's super soft and fluffy. Um, this part probably needs some new glue, but it stays on just fine. But it also is really similar to this Eco Tools brush. So I'm just keeping this one. It's a little bit easier to store because of the tapered handle. I really like Eco Tools as a brand, super soft brush, and it's slightly denser, but they are so similar. Keeping both would seem silly. I do really like this brush, has some nostalgia, but again, it's keeping both. I don't know why I would do that. I just need one brush to apply face powder with, so I'm keeping this one. This is an old Wet n Wild crease brush, super soft. But I have a very similar brush from Beach Cosmetics, slightly smaller, but I don't need something this big, really. I, I think I prefer something a little bit smaller. And it does the same effect with a little bit more control, so getting rid of this one. Still really good, a dollar. A great, great price. <laughs> and it lasts a long time. Same situation, dollar wooden wild brush, really good, but I have a really similar one right here. Does the same effect. And I don't need both. Same situation here, we have an Eco Tools brush. I use this to kind of highlight my brow bone with an eyeshadow. That's the color of my skin. But this is a very similar brush and it doesn't have one down here that'll get messed up because it's double-sided, so just kept one. This is a tiny detailing brush from Real Techniques. I have a similar type of detailing brush right here from Beach Cosmetics. I already have this, but this one's just a little bit less soft, so it's less enjoyable to use, so 
I'm just keeping the one I like slightly more. And then we have this guy. <laughs> Another Real Techniques. It was from the same set. The bottom part right here fell off though, so I tried to round off the end. I might throw this away. We'll see if my sister wants this one. Um, but I like it for the inner corner. But I have a similar brush. This one's smaller, but it's good for under the lash line and the inner corner. And I have a few other brushes that'll work in the inner corner. I don't need this guy. I can't really store it that easily because it's short. So, yeah. Getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. So this is everything that I am decluttering today. Again, not a ton, but I don't have a very large collection, so this is a lot for me. And it feels nice to get these out of my life. This is a very large magnetic palette. And I just don't need it. And these guys are huge. They take a bunch of space. Then, you know, brushes. This one primarily takes up most of the space. But yeah, I feel really good about this. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have an amazing day.